Hey friends, we're here. We're about to continue this awesome game, Soma, which we started last night. And yeah, it's our second session ever, ever, ever. All right, we're definitely gonna continue. <laughs> Simon managed to get in contact with a stranger over a failing radio. He was told to find the comm center, a room with a doomed, wait, domed ceiling, so they could talk again. I guess we're supposed to find a room with a domed ceiling. Cool. Do I always get special tips like that when I come back from the last session? <laughs> I hope so. Hey, it's John Castillo. Hi, friend. Welcome. I think we're still loading, actually, because mouse isn't doing anything. <laughs> How are you doing, John? Thanks for joining, friend. You're so often the first person in my chat. It's so heartwarming. <laughs> Everyone needs a John Castillo in their lives. All right, here we go. Oh, now we can press any button. Okay, so if I remember correctly, yesterday we were being kind of chased by some creature thingy. <laughs> Sweet, just chilling. Perfect. Okay, so this, this thing has been chasing us and we weren't exactly sure where to go, but we are about to find out where, where to go among other things, I believe. Something about a domed ceiling, so we're gonna try to find a domed area. Probably not that thing, because I think we might drown to death over there. Maybe we need a last boot? Okay. I love how this game totally keeps me on edge and like in suspense. <laughs> I took quite a few pictures, uh, screenshots yesterday. Sounds to me like it's coming after me, but I'm under the impression that if I move too much, then it'll hear me. <laughs> uh, at one point it told me that if I duck, then it'll not hear me as much, so. Okay, there's Carl. <laughs> we found a note somewhere and it was like, Carl's not, Carl wasn't my fault. <laughs> All right, I think it's out here that we need to go. I really like the effects of like, um, there's a lot of RGB split kind of feeling. I'm not always sure why um, it's so RGB split styles, but sometimes you'll touch these things and they'll make you like trip balls. All right, we've already been here. I'm just uh, recollecting the direction around this little area so that we can, okay. We don't need to go upstairs. Hey, John, what's up, friend? Welcome back. Yay, all right. Ho hopefully we're gonna discover some mysteries today. Uh, God help us all. All right. <laughs> Yesterday was all about getting our wits about us and trying to figure out uh, the layout of this building. And now we're gonna try to apply our knowledge and bad memory <laughs> towards moving forward in the game. Fuck that creepy ass shit. Okay, luckily we found out that he doesn't actually chase very fast, but I don't want to be chased at all. Let me know, friends, if you need me to adjust the audio or anything. 
Sounds great to me, but sometimes like X split is a little bit different than what I experience. I was hoping he would like turn around the corner and go upstairs and just completely fuck off so I could have my way with this other area, but I guess we're still gonna have to deal with this crazy ass thing. I'm liking it a lot, thanks for asking. Um, yeah, definitely it's my definitely right up my alley in terms of game art and suspense. All the time in games, not just this one, I'm, I feel like I'm confronted with my bad sense of direction and memory. <laughs> And I feel sometimes a little bit dumb, but that's not the game's fault. That's, that's my fault. Oh God, no! It's that that part is okay. We did make some progress, even though it was taking us a while to move forward. Okay, let's just hide in here. Sounds perfect. Sweet. Thanks. I always test on my phone right before I start, but. Um, it's really helpful to get a second opinion. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, there he goes. Trump boyfriend, go mind your own business. So far, what I really like about this game the most is how story-based it is, and it's about, like, the experience and the immersion and, uh, the tension. <laughs> the tension that builds in my heart, like, my chest feels like it's... Just on the, just not going to literally have a heart attack, but like, you know, like maybe 33% towards having a heart attack out of like tension. I actually, I don't know why, why I really like that, but it's one of my favorite feelings in a game. Probably because it's the type of emotion that I would never want to feel if it was in real life. <laughs> I would never want to be scared shitless hiding in a corner away from some crazy ass anything. <laughs> in fact... Okay, we went up that stairs. That's the one that has... That's the one that's totally shut off. Oh, look it! Wait, have we done this before? Wait, I don't think so. How do we shut that thing? Oh my god. Hey, that works! Yes! <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like to be like 100% towards heart attack town, but like if I if I feel like a slight palpitation and clenching in my chest, it's like a good healthy fear, you know? It's not like literally going to kill me. <laughs> I'm just going to scare the shit out of me intentionally. Butthole time. Stick it in, buddy. <laughs> Yesterday I was noticing a people in chat were really um, all about that, uh, t the butt jokes. <laughs> There's this one, my one friend from, uh, Twitch, his name is Jeremiah Saint, and he's always joking about butt sacks. And it's like his theme in his chat, he's always just like, butt sack this and butt sack that. And I was like, today I was like, you know what, if Jeremiah pops by my stream, I'm definitely gonna call that thing a butt sack instead of a butthole. Because it reminds me of like a sea, like a sea creature, a sea anemone, slash butthole. I mean, I don't know what, what better way like to describe this thing. It's some sort of like underwater spiral butthole. Okay. Corrupted data detected. Restore files? Yes, please. I would like everything to be restored, please. <laughs> okay, audio player.
Yeah, I really like the attention to detail um, in terms of the story. So I want to get as good of a feel for the story as possible. So we're going to play all of these. Hey, Josh and Chu. Welcome, friends. Hi. Hey, thank you for that raid, friend. So nice to see you. Hey there. Welcome, Josh and John. Hi, friends. We're playing through for the first time Soma, which is creepy and awesome and loving the game art and stuff. Just uh, exploring. Finally made it to the comms center, which is, um, this is like our destination. Like, look at this cool game art, friends. So cool. How are you guys doing? And uh, what were you playing during during your stream, friend? Joshua Chu here is a variety streamer who also does game development. John Z. <laughs> the office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you in Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Ben. This game is really story based I'm finding so we're reading as much as we can to learn as much as we uh, can from the story. Okay, uh, update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimate time for impact 513. Fixing bugs and little details, sweet. Nice. Game dev tonight. Sounds like a wonderfully productive Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday today. <laughs> yeah, it was Wednesday today. <laughs> okay. It's already two in the morning for me, but we just got started, so you can tell that I'm on late night schedule uh, lately. <laughs> Took a little little nap earlier because it's been actually so sunny here in Washington. They, um, we got lots of sun and exercise today, and I was so tuckered out. I had to take a little rest and then uh, did some stuff for Martian Games, and now we're relaxing slash doing research and development for you got to learn more game history if we're going to continue to become professional game developers in life. Okay. It's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos too. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group and it's great with great confidence I say that where we fall you, were sh you will surely carry on with bravery. Dudes. Wednesday, nice. Sweet. Hey there, um... Remedial man. Hi. <laughs> it was hot. Oh, cool. You're near Tacoma also. Howdy ho, neighbor. <laughs> cool. It was a beautiful day. It was really nice after that long, freezing winter. <laughs> I know you have much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. Salud. All right. We are finally in the calm room, so let's see what we got to do here. Um... Okay, we need a manual input required. Okay, uh, what's this? This looks like we're gonna need a number of some sort. Um, we are not listed on here yet. Let's look around, uh, usually over here, maybe on a computer like this. Oh, that's where those things were. Remedial man, are you also a streamer and or a game developer? Did you come from Joshua Chu's stream? Because they have a lot of really cool meetups in Seattle, I found out. Uh, 
they've got the Seattle Online Broadcasters meetup, and then they have the Seattle Indies and also the Seattle VR group. It was freezing in California. Yeah, right. No way. <laughs> Guys, is there like some kind of frame rate issue with my camera? I've never noticed that before, but sorry. Ooh, there's my kitty. Let me just make sure I got everything turned off, like my real time. Uh, sometimes my virus and threat protection. Nope, that's turned off. Uh, just make sure everything else is turned off. Close. Um, unfortunately, when I click off of the game, it, um, okay, I got everything basically, okay, I guess I don't need that. Um, I'm just checking this really quickly. I wish it didn't turn off the volume. Oh, you came from Josh's stream? Sweet! Grand Walden is here! I don't know why this, um, do you guys see my little face cam flicker? I was gonna bother my OCD. Let me just click on here and sometimes we can favor exposure instead of frame rate. Maybe that'll help. You just finished what you thought was a stream. Output was not working the whole time. What do you mean, friend? What was wrong with the output? That sounds like a nightmare. Oh, cool. You go to Seattle for PAX? We just moved here last September and we caught Sunday of PAX. Alright guys, so I think that we need a code to get in. We read all of these thoroughly. I didn't see any codes. So let's look more closely. Is there anything on here? Maybe if we just choose any of these. Um, like... Uh, one of these numbers? That does something. <laughs> you were in VR and you can't see your PC when you're in VR. No way, Graham. I'm sorry, friend. I feel your pain. That's like, it's like everyone's worst nightmare is having that happen. How long were you streaming without realizing that it wasn't working? Looking around here for a signal of some sort. It's a little crackly over here. Hey there, Corpus. What's up, friend? I agree that this would be extra terrifying in VR. One and a half hours. That's still. I would. I would be so upset. I was taking a little bit of a nap right before I played. I'm sorry. I forgot that you were gonna stream tonight, friend. I was passed out because it was so hot today and I um I did so much exercise that came home and like passed right out is this like I'm not sure what it's like a little bit of static like right over here but you're wrecked <laughs> oh beat savior I heard all about that friend and my buddy was telling me about that last night so was it awesome and fun. I heard that it's great. And I heard that it's in early access, but also $20. So it must be damn good. I heard it's been a huge success so far on YouTube. A lot of people playing it. And that they have like 10 songs in it or something. I heard all about Beat Saber today. I was going to play it, but then I thought I should play it tomorrow because I already had my heart set on playing so much today. Is it multiplayer? Can we play together or is it just a uh, solo? Hey, or were you just playing with yourself? Ha <laughs> ha. All right guys, I have never played this game so I'm not sure um if I did that right or what the hell. Uh -huh. That was lackluster. Let's try this. I'm thinking that normally I would find some kind of a signal on something like this. I don't know what Where, like, maybe that, like, image is supposed to become more clear or something? That looks like an A. Kind of. Oh. Oh. Wait, now we- there we go! It's fucking A. Yes. 
beating your saber for one and a half hours in. <laughs> no multiplayer? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Tezos 2? I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, you grab my subscriber. Ma! robots crazy ones this is also strange you're telling me what was that no what's going on i think this place is about Fuck. to collapse what do i do Simon, come to lambda uh, how do i get there there are shuttle trains connecting all the sites find one and come here i'll wait for you ah shit wait where am i supposed to go That just happened. <laughs> there, now I feel happy about my shout out. <laughs> awesome. Underwater. Sounds like we got a tank on our head, at least. Uh, this is, this is insane. Hell yeah, dudes. This looks awesome. I guess we have some kind of a suit on. At least it sounds like we got some kind of protection. Look at how freaking cool the game art is here. This is like my new favorite game. Straight up. Friendly with this underwater. And the, um, we just drowned and now that's like got bubbles and, oh wait. So awesome. Someone yesterday was saying that they were inspired by Bioshock and that was ironic because the, um, <laughs> Josh <at> you, <laughs> I tried to, sh I shouted you out, friend, you're my friend. Awesome. I'm totally taking screenshots as we go along. It was oddly enough yesterday, um, that little screenshot saved thing on the bottom right did not show up on stream, but today I see it popping up on my preview. So now you guys can see when I take screenshots. Um, oh yeah, which was ironic because just yesterday I was like, what am I going to play? And I was like, it was literally a toss up, either Soma or Bioshock. And then someone said that this game was actually inspired by Bioshock. I don't know if that's like literally the the devs said that or if that was just the um, person who said that if it was their opinion or what. But either way, we got some underwater both, scene. Both underwater. Yeah, got some cool underwater scenes going on. <laughs> Graham Weldon did a Ludum Dare game jam submission. Uh, for this most recent one, number 41, and we played it on stream last night after playing Soma, and, uh, then he became my subscriber! So he's got my little Jenny face <laughs> emote. I've been wanting to make more emotes. Have you guys ever tried, um, Mixer? Because on there, when you become verified, you can have 10 emotes. Kind of leaves a, leaves me yearning for more emotes in, in life here on Twitch. But, I mean... There's three, and then uh, I've got the um, the ones from Better TTV that uh, are really awesome too. I like making emotes, but I, I would like to make more. Oh, here comes the kitty! Oh, here comes the crazy cat! Alright, Zeppelin transport! It is easy to get distracted here. Like, this underwater scene is so cool. Narcosis looks like a good horror underwater game in VR? Sweet, man. Uh, we've got an HTC Vive over here. And recently I just found out that, um, well, I've got a gaming laptop that's good enough for streaming this type of thing. 
Um, but my partner's gaming laptop, because we each have a gaming laptop, but his is a little bit more powerful. Um, his actually is able to handle VR stream for the most part. Here comes Kitty. I gotta just pet the cat for a moment because otherwise she's gonna stand in front of my screen this whole time. <laughs> hey, Kitty. All right. Actually, it's feeling a lot more relaxing underwater, especially if, since I have a tank apparently where I can breathe. Oh yeah, I can. Wait, press spacebar to jump, I guess. Narcosis, huh? Is that about nar narcolepsy? Where you can't, um, where you, like, start to fall asleep when you're just sitting there? Sounds like horror. What if you're driving and you started falling asleep? Okay, so this is the uh, Zeppelin landing spot, maybe? Seems like, and then, okay, what else is over here? Can I press this right here? Nope. What kind of a VR headset do you have, Corpus? Did you already play it, or did it just look really cool? We're kind of waiting for payday to buy anything. Also, because of my, my car has been super reliable up until last week it broke down so I'm not buying anything until I fix my car but I have a wish list <laughs> that I add stuff to so that I don't forget about stuff yeah Graham no problem I spelled your name wrong the first time so I did do it a second time it's because my big fat fingers are shouting you out on my mobile device it was only ten dollars Oh, it was at one point. You have Rift? Cool. Uh, my partner, Martian Games, he just released his first VR game in March. And uh, it's... We use the HTC Vive to um, test it and stuff, but it works on the Rift as well. And it's called Purgatory Fell. It's also kind of a creepy-ass, um, creepy kind of VR thing. Oh, thanks, friend. I gotta change it so that PF works for everyone. I don't know why I, I, I I'm so silly. I don't know why I, I made it so it's just for me, but <laughs> you can do exclamation mark and spell it out, Purgatory Fell, which is kind of, I, I guess I was, I don't know what I was thinking. I should add that so any anyone can do the PF command. One time I made it so that if anybody presses HL for Half-Life, then all, like, the, my long-ass, like, chat command would pop up. And so I got, like, in the habit of making the weird ones, like, uh, so it wouldn't, like, accidentally spam the chat. But I guess people wouldn't say PF very often. How are sales? Thanks for the congratulations. Um, well, uh, we still haven't gotten close to the investment because, um, well, Martian Games, his specialty has been online, well, PC multiplayer games, and he's made quite a few over the years. Like the last oh, kitty just rolled over and like onto my mouse. Okay, just kitty, <laughs> move my mouse, dude, to accommodate the cat. But all right, kitty's being so cute. Um, so yeah, his specialty is on online like a PC games, and then um he got like a couple of investors contacted him about doing a VR game, a scary VR game, so it was like a cool personal challenge. Also his first VR game and his first game that was published on Steam. So they basically invested um, enough to like, over like a few months. Um, it actually took Martian six months to make it, but they were uh, paying him a uh, stipend like for weekly, for like three weeks, or three months, sorry. Um, and then luckily we didn't spend it all in one place because uh, we stretched it out for six months total. And so um, luckily we were able to afford the time to make it. I got to help a little bit, but it was mainly Martian Games that did it. Um, I think there's going to be audio in a second here. 
Um, I was going to say, so sales have not gotten nearly close to the investment yet, so we're, we're trying to promote it as best as we can. Oh, Carl again. Good luck. We're gonna need it. Or she's she needed it. Wonder where Amy is now. All right, there's a little hint. Oh man, the tension continues, and Kitty is also still fluffy. The fluff continues. <laughs> See, it was really cool that uh, we discovered that people with the Oculus can play the game too, so at least now we have twice the chance of uh, good sales and everything. Uh, in fact, last weekend we had eight sales alone, and that was right after we added Oculus to the Steam page and also added a short like gameplay trailer. I know, I need a separate kitty cam. I would like that very much. Sometimes, like, when we're lucky, she'll sit right in front of me and I can just adjust the camera so we're, like, both in frame together. But she just gets up and now she's, like, over and eating a snack. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, Kitty's more important. I'll just turn the entire cam onto the cat, but then she'll, like, move as soon as I do that. <laughs> the fluff complements the fear nicely. Some kind of crazy audio coming through over here. You have a game idea. Invasion of Kitty. The fluff continues. Maybe the fluff continues will be like the the second chapter or something. What is this thing? Oh. The hell? That thing was cool. <laughs> Paid DLC. <laughs> oh, thanks, Corpus says that Purgatory Fall looks nice. Luckily, we had like three people try it on Oculus, but we unfortunately don't own every VR headset just yet. Maybe in the future we'll get to get an Oculus too. But um, one person said that they wrote up an entire email of feedback, a person, a friend, family friend who is a game developer as well. But... I never got that email, so I was like, thanks a lot. Way to tease a girl. <laughs> I was like, I would love to hear your input, dude. Your input is more important than, like, I mean, he also, because he has an Oculus, and so I um, was hoping that he would tell us, like, all the things that we might need to know about. But um, overall, I mean, it worked, and he played through it, and so. But we've had three people played on Oculus so far. Oh, and Graham's also on Oculus. Sweet. Well, I'm going to try that beat game tomorrow. But you know what else I'm going to do tomorrow is play some more Commander Keen. Because <laughs> as much as I love modern games and like futuristic, cool-ass 3D games and stuff, um, I love classics. And one of my viewers, he found me when I was playing through all the old school Commander Keen games, which is like my first favorite platformer from when I was a kid. And uh, he just always will pop in, well not always, but like once in a while consistently come in and be like, what about Commander Keen? So I told him, okay, on Thursday we'll do Throwback Thursday and play some Commander Keen. So I'm going to do that tomorrow, but also I wanted to play um, that VR game too, because our friend got it. And we have like Family Share or whatever it's called on Steam. So, hi little buddy! This one's at least friendly. This one doesn't punch me in the face and dose me with acid like all the other ones. Hey, green is good, I guess. Yeah, uh, Martian Games definitely plans on... He's got like a whole like episodic planned for Purgatory Fell. And this first one that's out, like there's already updates waiting in line to be published. It's just that he's working on this other game right now called Motor Wars which was like really popular on his site for the longest time and he had to take it down and uh, he's doing some things to touch it up. 
it should be out this weekend, and then probably next week he'll get around to doing the updates for Purgatory. Fell. Uh, I think there's already a game called Purgatory, but this one is Purgatory Fell, obviously. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Is the Oh, yeah, so the updates for Purgatory Fell, he's got to test the shit out of them before he just pushes them. Because, like, you know, you got to, like, test those, like, ten times before putting it out there so you don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> Some people think that you should just test in development or, wait, um, but, you know, what's it called, um, test in production or whatever? Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, it's a button. What's that thing? Oh, the cat just rubbed on my foot. The heck? <sighs> I wish I could go all the way up here. Why did that thing let me touch it, but it's not doing anything? Oh, thank you, Graham, for that host, friend. So, yeah, tomorrow we're going to do Throwback Thursday and VR stream. Probably at different times of the day. Fuck. I really want to poke my grandma. Just kidding. Like, poke that little light thing there. It's like... So tempting with that little finger. And you've been playing Skyrim VR. Really nice to have such a huge immersive open world finally. Did you play a lot of Skyrim before it was VR? In VR? Damn it. Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure out how to get up. Oh, there. Pfft. <laughs> All right, we're good. Sometimes I make things harder on myself than necessary. It's just kitty. Come here, sweetie pie. It's always when I start streaming that she wants the most attention. Come here, baby. Come here, kitty kitty. Come here. Come here. Come here, honey. Come here. Did I give her a pat on the butt? Okay. <laughs> Your first Bethesda game. Sweet. I've watched actually a lot of YouTube videos that have like the Skyrim mods and stuff. I'm a big fan of those crazy awesome ass outfits that they have. Like the naked mods <laughs> and like the fishnet mods. Hey new follows, Stephanie Lou, thank you friend, welcome. Hey there. We are playing Soma for the first time right now. Just chilling out and, well I mean uh, first playthrough, second session. Have you, you know what I'm talking about, Corpus? Like, the mods? Um, there's this one guy, I can't think of his name off the top of my brain, but this guy, um, he does these really good, like, mod uh, reviews of Skyrim mods. And he's hilarious, man. If I think of his name, I'll, I'll tell you. How's it going, Stephanie? Yay! <laughs> my delayed alerts. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, I, I heard that for the VR version that some people are installing like 50 mods. Alright, well we got all the way up here and then it turns out that we can't even use our finger to poke that thing. Like I thought we would. Wait. Is it just me or is it more like... Is there more dust sitting around? Maybe that did do something. We're learning all about this game right now. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks, love. Today was actually super sunny in Washington, like all winter long. It was actually my first winter in Washington. Moved here last September and um, it was cold and freezing and even snowing sometimes throughout the winter. And finally it's like suddenly spring slash summertime weather wise. I got the cat here. Oh, she does this really cute thing where she like wraps herself around the arm of my chair and like tries to catch her tail. Now she's sitting next to us. All right. I think that we pressed that one light, and I think that it's going okay. So, yeah, we got some sunshine and exercise today. And I was so pooped and tuckered out, like, after that, I took a little nap. And as soon as I woke up, I was like, okay, I'm ready to stream. So it's, like, 2.39 in the morning, and I'm all, like, pumped up and stoked about this exploration here in Soma. Have you played Soma before, Stephanie? 
Oh my goodness, now she's rolling over up against my mouse. She's so funny. She's so full of personality. I wonder if that little dude, this robot floater, is going to follow us. Another thing I'm proud and excited about is that um, this cool apartment complex that we live at. Well, it's like basic bitch apartment complex, except as soon as we moved here, they closed down the cabana area, which has got the pool and like a little gym. And I was like, oh no. But then finally, um, finally they were done with all this construction. They just opened it up like a few weeks ago. So like I've been going to the gym every day, man. I'm feeling all pumped up and working on that beach bod for the summer pumped up about that so i'm feeling really healthy lately <laughs> hey casey is back hi friend hey thank you so much for that host friend welcome back you like affectionate cats she's also a little bit bipolar probably because she's a woman <laughs> isn't that right alice one minute she'll be like purring up a storm and the next minute she's like scratching her eyes out that's a little bit extreme she doesn't usually scratch your eyes or your face um, but she will definitely bite you and bite your hand. <laughs> I don't know what that little brain in the bottom right hand corner is. I think that might be saving or like a checkpoint or something. All right, let's try running a little bit. I'm just like, all right, sh shuttle station. Moving forward. So intuitive, we're getting better at our game logic. <laughs> Especially since yesterday, and we played this game for like four or five hours before today. So I'm starting to get a better. Oh, look at those cute bubbles! Thanks, little guy, he says. Adorable! I want to learn how to do this kind of like game development um, styles where it's like. You get all like the um, classic like WASD shift to turbo speed and then space bar to jump and then like E to interact and then like or left click to do something like drag like click and drag for doors. I would really like to I mean I started going in that direction uh, my partner Martian Games has been teaching me Unity. My Omni tool use for the Omni tool yay. I love when access is granted. Jesse, Jesse Rutia, hi. Gift sub only during Christmas. Oh, guess what? That's actually a new feature on um, on Twitch. You can always gift a sub nowadays. It may have become a new feature during Christmas, but now it's definitely a thing, all the time. Let's hope the shuttle. All right. Look at all these barnacles, friends. I'm going slow, um, just partially in awe of this game art. And we're taking um, screenshots as we go along because I like to make um, like uh, photo galleries on my Facebook and stuff. <laughs> How did I? Where did I get a flashlight? Yes, F for flashlight. That's another thing I want to be able to do. Earlier in this game, I was like, man, I wish I had an F for fucking flashlight. Here it is. My dreams have come true, friends. Finally, F for fucking flashlight. Time to trip balls. I'm starting to recognize these characters. That's Amy. Damn it, this looks really dark to me on my X split. Do you guys think that that's too dark? Cute, friend. You've been following me since March of 2017. It's like our year anniversary. It's like our year, um, just past our year friend anniversary. I started streaming consistently in January 2017, but before that, I only had like a few. Streaming attempts slash mishaps. <laughs> but 
But we're like all the time now. Gross, that, that time it grabbed onto my hand. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Is that your real last name, Jesse? I feel like I know another Rutia in my life. That's so freaking cool, man. Like yesterday we were joking about um, how the, well, these kind of look like sea anemones. And there was a version uh, in yesterday's session that looked a little bit more like um, an octopus with the sea anemone, like spiral thingy in the middle. And we're joking about how it looks like underwater slash space butthole. So that's a space butthole. This door is not even open. Hey, <laughs> Graham Weldon. Ah, Casey. <laughs> Time to flag the streamer. Ah, I'm gonna have to unsub. <laughs> Uh, oh, my boyfriend's name? That's Martian Games, also known as Shadow Moon. Um, hey, Graham, do I have to put my sweater back on so you uh, stay sub subscribed to me? <laughs> it's uh, Honestly, it's actually pretty hot. I got like a full-blown shirt on, so... So appropriate, friends. It's appropriate. I have an entire shirt on. Pathos, floatable airlock. Hi, kitty. Okay, adaptable pipes. Check. Anything else on here that we need to know? Interesting. Imagine, like, in the, heat, in the middle of summer when we want to play VR, how hot it's going to be. We'll have to find some ways to keep that manageable. One girl, I, I heard her specifically talking about that, how hot it gets in her place while she's, especially in the summer, trying to do VR. I can't wait to have that problem. <laughs> oh, Casey, okay, thanks, friend. I'll take that as a compliment, thanks. 200%. <laughs> Ooh, VR while doing Beat Saber is crazy. Luckily, uh, it's not super hot lately. Wait, what did I miss? Like, I thought something was gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, lights, camera, action. And then this button, maybe? Oh, red button, there we go. Yes! Don't make me wear two shirts while doing Beat Saber in VR. <laughs> I will do it, friends. I'll wear two shirts. <laughs> oh my god. Cat, come on, girl. Now she's not only just sitting, like, right practically on top of my mouse hand, but now she's trying to lick her own butt, too. Alright, we'll just take two seconds here while... <laughs> Cat. This is a straight-up photo op. We don't have time for photos right now, though. Okay, we are at Upsilon B. Cool map. So, I guess... This one's red for some reason. Maybe that means it's blocked off. We have all this other cool stuff. Looks like we can try. A good supply of sweat-soaking face gaskets for games like that. <laughs> and a shirt. <laughs> Jesse. <Jessie. laughs> or no shirt at all. <laughs> not on Twitch, man. Not unless I want to get banned for life and chastised. Better to wear your chastity belt when streaming on Twitch. Lambda. Cool. All right, let's go. Kitty, you're so sweet. I wonder if you guys can see the cat right here, but she's so cute. Ah, sorry. Deep space probes. <laughs> He's a deep space probe. Oh, look at her! Oh, look at her cute! Oh, 
We're developing the future as a team. That's like us, friends. We're developing the future like a team. Hey, D Rock, what's up, friend? <laughs> yeah, someone was joking. They're like, yeah, you should do VR with just topless because it's going to be so hot. But then um, we were joking and saying that it's better to stream with a, it, it's better to do Twitch with a chastity belt because obviously if you stream topless, you're going to get banned <laughs> so fast. Especially with all those new, like, modesty rules that they implemented recently. We were joking yesterday about these um, sea enemy things that look kind of like, um... Buttholes. <laughs> space buttholes. We were joking because we have to, like, stick our finger in the space butthole. And then one just like literally grabbed onto our hand and like sucked in our hand. <laughs> I was like, ah! Literally like five minutes ago. I have barely enough room for the mouse. Just enough room. All right, that didn't go as planned. Oh, Emergency break. Oh, what's this? Here we go. Nice. This game is so cool. <laughs> Good one, Corpus. Space fisting. <laughs> yeah, it became like one finger became a whole fist like before we knew it. You can wear a sports bra on, st on stream? I don't know if that would help or hinder. Graham Weldon already said that he was thinking about unsubbing when I mentioned... When I took off my sweatshirt a minute ago. <laughs> but it is actually hot, so I don't feel bad. I don't regret taking off my sweatshirt. It's freaking hot in here. Not too hot, though. This is so awesome. God damn. People, I haven't played Amnesia yet, but yesterday someone said that this game is a little bit more... Uh, focused on like the story and the environment experience and stuff whereas amnesia is more about the pure terror I hope to see her soon. Uh, I hope to see anybody soon. Can you guys even see this environment? It looks so dark on my um, stream preview. Thank God on the mo on my second monitor where I'm looking at it is like a lot brighter. All right, let's go. Space butthole time. Ready, friends? Time to stick in our finger. You guys think it's gonna be just a finger this time, or? I'm sorry, but it's like, ah! Oh my God! Look at D Rock. I'm sorry, but that's gross, guys. Ah, oh, Casey, <laughs> you're sweet. What the fuck, dudes? Well, that didn't do much, except for start things leaking. Now what? <laughs> Did you see that, D-Rock? <laughs> I mean, I'm like, that's not just my dirty mind. That's like, that's... Anyone else see that as something dirty? 
I'm trying to stay PC or whatever, PG or whatever. At least NC-17. But those, like, seeing enemy things. <laughs> ah, you're funny, friend. Thank you for that tip. <laughs> you're funny. I'm scared, friends. Oh man. F for flashlight. Where are we now? Well, we are hit. We are here around like Lambda, but how are we supposed to get anywhere else like this? Left or right? <laughs> Mom, Jesse's being weird again. <laughs> Guys, F to pay your respects to the once PG stream from Jenny Nexus. <laughs> oh man, and flashlight. <laughs> Did we miss a door or something? We're gonna find out. Remind me to wear two shirts next stream. Ah, sorry, but like, how are we gonna get out of here? <sighs> I feel like we've done everything that we can down this tunnel. Does this thing interact? Yes, it does. Right when I think I've like been wandering around aimlessly is usually right when um, I find the way. <laughs> you would like to narrate my stream? Okay. I think what Stay Hydrated Bot is trying to tell me is to drink some more wine. So cheers to that. Ah, oh, those are cute, Jesse. Adorable. Yeah, by Stay Hydrated, I think he means drink more wine. He or she. I'm not sure if Stay Hydrated Bot maybe is a non binary bot. Access granted, but where? Oops, what the hell? Oh, cool, man. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jesse? You love my mom? <laughs> I love your mom, friend. alien friend. Jenny grunts in anger as she realizes she cannot fist at the space butt without dire consequences. <laughs> Yesterday Hydrated Bot like chatted said like two things in a row and it was just a little bit much but today only once so I'm not gonna time out Hydrated Bot today. Whee! Shit dudes. Alright, if I remember that map correctly, like there was something to the right and there's Lambda. Probably huge. <laughs> Casey. We should make an emote that's that like spiral um, see an enemy butthole with the finger going into it. That should be my like next emote.
What's this thing? Whatever it is, it does not appear to be interactive. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Okay, how do we get in here? Oh, I'm just barely too heavy to get up on that little platform, it appears. How about over here? What's this all about? Oh, I wish I just wasn't so heavy underwater. It's pretty cool, like, hanging out underwater like this. Lambda, that's where we were headed. Nice. How in the world? Cool, friends. This is so cool. <sighs> Freaky, man. I feel like I hear whale sounds in the distance. Hey, kitty kin. Oh, you're so sweet, kitty. Oh, she's just curling up like a sweet little kitty kin right here. All right. I think we're trying to get on here. How do we get into Lamba? It looks to me like it's broken. <laughs> whale sounds, I think. <laughs> Good one with the octopus. Nice. Good call, Graham. Damn it. I'm not sure how to get into Lambda here, but... Oh, she's being so sweet. Oh, like, when she reaches out her little paw. Damn, I wish I knew how to get in this. I hear some voices. Last time we heard voices. <laughs> well, there, there, there's one of those things. They help us out sometimes. Hi, friend. The red ones, I think, are evil or something, while the green ones are friendly. Who's, who are you calling a little shit, dude? He just headbutted us. He's gonna fuck me up, dude? Who put their conscience in this thing? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this guy. Did you just say cry like a bitch? Oh, kitty. That would be fun, Graham. Yeah, Martian Games has been talking about wanting to make a multiplayer VR game. I would love to do collaboration, too. Fuck, dudes. How are we supposed to get away from this thing? Yeah, feel free to... Uh Martian's just right across the living room right now working on Motor Wars at the moment. But he's got a lot of ideas for VR in, in the future. Fuck. Damn, dudes. 
Great. That sucked. Oh no. Last time we found one of those cool floating dudes, he was like green and he helped us open up a door. This time is not the case. There was this one escape game, uh, that's like a puzzle escape type of game in VR that I played the other day with uh, Blind Seer and his friends on his stream. Uh, I didn't stream it, but I played it with him. Oh fuck, here's that thing again. Damn it. All right, Lambda, how do we get in you? I saw the sign for Lambda, but I couldn't tell how to get in or anything. Here's some little lights in the distance. Maybe there will be some kind of... Can I interact with this soul? No. Just beautiful decoration. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta walk around this ledge. Right. Ugh, okay. Have you messed around in VR at all yet, Graham? That's cool, because you have, you have an Oculus and we have a Vive, so we could take turns of... Oh, man. All right, I'm pretty positive that's where we came out from. Oh, only for work. Cool. I'm glad we're back to, like, normal talk. That... I think we're going a little bit crazy with the fisting buttholes chat earlier. <laughs> that was like mostly my fault, but. <laughs> Back to normal chat. Cool. The only way you can get some of your hobby interests into your work. Server system visualization in VR. Sweet, man. God damn it. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to get past this thing. He's bullying us, friends. I'm feeling harassed. And this is Lambda. We need to get in here somehow. We like hopped up on Lambda and tried to get in and stuff. It didn't work. You dream of the day when server admins and developer people are just hooked into the VR headset managing systems. We had to deal with all kinds of server issues like last week with HostGator. It was like not a very creative task code viz oh you want to code some visualization in VR that'd be cool damn guys well there's lambda where we're supposed to get that like angry bot is like guarding the lambda area which I can't figure out how to get into ooh that would be cool like industrial kind of visualization in VR. That'd be interesting. Aw, Casey has a dream for when he's finally got Mr. Right. I mean, Mrs. Right. <laughs> Serverless visualizations. Okay, guys, anyone have any good ideas about how to like get to Lambda and get around this bot that keeps on harassing us? Anyone see any more buttholes we can probe on the way? Usually that helps. <laughs> Mrs. Wrights are always married. If you're lucky, like they're polyamorous, you know, that way they can like share. Whatever! Ugh. I'm German! 
I don't know what to say. Ah! <laughs> See if the bot has one. Mr. Right? I mean, I don't know why I keep saying. <laughs> I think it's, a, you know, Mickey Avalon? He's got this song and he's like, a song called Mr. Right? Like, um, where he's like, call me Mr. Right. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I was I was asking for consent first. See if the oh oh see if the bot has a butt hold a fist. <laughs> Chat went straight back down the butthole. Sorry, friends. It's like once I started thinking about butts, it's like it's I start it's like I start getting obsessed. That time I clicked on left mouse. He keeps knocking me out when he does that. A butthole. Now we're talking. I just love kitties. I swear. It's so sweet. What should I do? Should I look up a fucking cheat? Cheat sheet? What's this thing? You know the pain. Yeah, the cat hair. I didn't even touch my lips on her, but still like hair stuck on my lips. Sometimes I think I get more hairballs than she does. Hi. Cute, can you see there's a cute little emo out there, the kitty with the question mark. Cool VR visual for code. That does sound pretty awesome with the industrial stuff. How, okay guys, this is where we're stuck right now. There's like no way so far to get in here. There's probably something that's interactive that I just haven't seen yet that's right around here somewhere. This is where we're trying to get into Lambda. The sign doesn't do anything. Looks like it's falling apart. If anyone has any tips without too many spoilers, I'm open to that. What's that? I can hear my flashlight, not really do anything with it. I've been wanting to do something where it's like goes to the beat of the music in, in Unity. Some sort of like beautiful visualization that's also like synced to the beat or whatever is happening. And um, I have this like cool thing. You guys know the fucking As Asmir stuff that's so popular? ASMR or whatever. People call it relaxing while others call it weird. Well, I actually have one of those recorders that's like a... Um, the binaural recorder and I have the little like um their earbud microphones so like if one person wears them and then the other person's like whispering in their ears or doing whatever then it would be like kind of 360 or at least uh ster stereo um binaural or whatever audio I wanted to mess around with that thing in unity uh, some kind of recording is with the Asmir recorder, but in Unity, and then I was hoping to find a way to integrate it, that and some other like music or whatever with, um, I guess there's some packages on the Unity asset store that I noticed that are like vis visualizations that, um, I think go to the beat of the music, but I haven't like bought any of them yet and tried. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maybe it could be like a storytelling game of some sort because then I could... Um, practice my voice acting. I try not to shout in people's ears. I don't know what to do, guys. Like, should I cheat and look up something? Hey, <laughs> Casey. I got all kinds of voice acting. Even uh, D Rock here in chat, I've voice acted for a couple of his things. 
for his character Devil Lin. <laughs> Most of the shit you see on Twitch is cre creepy, the ASMR stuff. Like when people are like licking their microphone and like deep throating their mic and stuff. <laughs> and calling it ASMR. <laughs> They're like, it's creative <laughs> or whatever. I haven't actually tried it, but I did want to do some actually cool, um, some sort of like experimentation, audio experiment that I thought would be pretty weird and but not not weird like making you want to puke, but like weird as in fascinating for on uh, in Unity, for VR. Come here, ass fucker. I was just wondering if I can maybe if I punch him in the side or. Damn, this sucks, guys. I don't know how to get this guy. Out. I feel like I can't. I guess I can't punch him or anything either. A psychological thriller using that could be interesting. Remember that one movie, um, what was it called? Like, I was, I was a youngster when it came out. Um, that one where they made everyone believe that it was real, like these kids were like in the forest and something was after them. What was that movie called? Me neither, Graham. That's a little bit, I mean, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Especially not on Twitch or anything. <laughs> John Castillo is like chiming in with an LOL. <laughs> it's gotta be like intellectually stimulating as well. <laughs> That's honestly why I haven't really made any ASMR videos yet, because I haven't found any that are good enough. Eh, Forever 21, I think that's a store. <laughs> okay, I'm almost ready to cheat and look up uh, what to do next here. Usually when I feel like wandering, like th like when I'm doing this, it's something that's simple that I'm just overlooking. You know that one movie where like they have like the um, the girls like holding the camera like right under her nose, and her nose is like dripping snot, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the game Friday the 13th and until, wait, until then? I don't know. Yes. Ah. Does Martian participate in any real-time chat system with which I could get in touch? He's got a Discord, but he's only used it like once in his life. Um, I was asking him, oh yeah, Blair Witch! That's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks, Corpus. I was thinking like it could if we were gonna do voice acting in a VR game that was also creepy, it could be kinda like Blair Witch where the audio also in this game actually it has the audio telling part of the story. Damn it, now I'm stuck in this crotch. Oh wait. Uh Is this a staircase? I would sure like to interact with like anything right now. Remember friends when we played through Half-Life and like I got stuck so many times? I'm hoping that we can find our way through this a little bit more easily. <laughs> just sing the Discord. Marshall's just fucking busy, man. He's got like, he's got players from his multiplayer games that will literally send him personal emails every day he wakes up and he'll have like hacker reports and like, add, please add these features or like so-and-so is harassing me or like these people are hacking. Like every day he's got to wake up and deal with even like you can email him though um at least like that uh a productive uh, email would be a bonus especially one from graham he already he already knows that you're like one of my favorites because you're gonna use my rv in your game <laughs> but yeah um he's martian games at gmail and i'm jenny nexus at gmail you can email us both in a in a group chat email type of thing it's probably the easiest way 
<laughs> Vomit email. Damn it, guys. At least these environments are really cool to check out. I don't mind being lost when it's such a cool environment. Okay, 20 minutes, sweet friend. See you in a bit. Enjoy dinner. I hope you come back with a full report as to what you ate <laughs> when you're done. Oh no, here's that robot. Damn it. <laughs> Casey. Yeah, it's nice uh, to have like, um, Martian's in my Discord as well, so you can always, um, in my Discord, you can send a personal message to me and Martian in Discord, and we're always together, so I can just relay the message, and, um, sometimes I help with that type of personal assistant type stuff. Writing emails to Jenny be like, Dear Jenny, please stop stripping on your stream. <laughs> well, you know. I, I honestly, I'm a pretty open-minded person, but I can see where people might be annoyed when they come for games and then they find other stuff here. Like the in real life section. But I'm generally an open-minded person who would encourage people to express themselves however they want to. But I, I, can, I can empathize with the gamers. They really want just to see games. They don't want to be having awkward boners when they get here. I think my stream is pretty chill. I don't think anyone's actually getting that much enjoyment from me joking about these space balls. <laughs> I have like an entire shirt on. I'm not like, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, let's I guess keep looking because Lambda's fucked up. That bot keeps on pissing us off. What's over here? Hey, look it! Finally, a separate entrance to Lambda. Huh, a, like a back door entry, friends. <laughs> Once I start thinking about butts, though, it's like all all my mind goes to, like these funny butt jokes and stuff. So pretty. Catherine. Catherine, love interest. Oh, now, now do we need a bot to let us in? Oh wait, we're good. Liquor in the front and poker in the rear. Okay. Making some progress here. I was I was so insistent on trying to get through that part where all the rocks had broken down and Lambda looked all totally screwed up. Turns out there's a backdoor entry the whole way. New achievement, yay. We're gonna make achievements for Purgatory Fell eventually too. It's like after we pay rent, like right now, and then like the first week or two after rent is paid, we can like take a breather and like do whatever we want with our lives. And then usually the last week of the month is the most stressful. So last week was stressful. This week I'm playing Soma and enjoying my life. <laughs> but at the same time, like I'm um, trying to find other gigs uh, to help pay bills and stuff. Oh no, Catherine. Catherine and Catherine. Don't look at <laughs> Casey. <laughs> you guys. You gotta draw the line somewhere because like I really, really, I really care about my Twitch channel. So whatever it takes to stay on good terms and hopefully get partnership one day. I've seen partners straight up with bras on for sure. I've seen swimming streams. I've seen all kinds of shit on here. Was that? Finally a naked person. I saw in the warning on the Steam page that there is nudity in this game. But I was like, I haven't seen any nudity, nudity yet. I think I just saw a shadow of boobs. Not sure, but I think so. I'm not okay, but I really like this RGB split because it makes me feel like I'm on acid or something. It's all rainbow and beautiful everywhere. Alrighty then. What? No, not you too. She's also a robot. I hoping you were human. No. Can't take any more. This is 
Everything's fucked. <laughs> There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. The project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Oh, don't call her stupid, dude. I think she used to be a person. So I can get back to work? Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. <laughs> Quote of the day. Sure is. <laughs> the door opener. Where's the terminal? Right here? When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my cortex chip into the tool. Okay. That thing we we had it. A... I'll eject it for you. <laughs> Grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Right now or I... I just need you to do this one thing for me. Okay. Sure, whatever. It's a robot chip for the door open. It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Where's that chip she was talking about? Let's give this a try. She said that she was going to eject the chip. Here it is. Cool. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of issue with my mouse because the cat is, like, sitting on my mouse pad. I only have half a mouse pad to work with right now. Sorry, not sorry, friends. Kitty's being cute. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so, what's the project about? My project. Oh well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were gonna launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Finally. I need to know everything. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. <sighs> I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. <sighs> I'll unlock the door for you. Thanks, I guess. Girls. Well, Went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? I think that's strange. What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. <laughs> when the game was made. Hey, Kanito. Hi, friend. What project am I currently on in Unity? Uh, well, we got um, Martian Games is working on Motor Wars right now. And what am I working on in Unity? Well, the other day I was learning how to get video to play um, so we could run video ads within a game in Unity. So that was a project, I guess, kind of a, a component of a project. And Sorry, still trying to figure out what am I working on? I, I was still working on helping with the Purgatory Fell update and stuff. And we were going to um, add some achievements to Purgatory Fell. And honestly, last week was um, mainly, oh, fist the butthole. <laughs> this thing just looks really weird, dudes. I'm sorry, but every time that happens, it just like grosses me out and makes me laugh. 
Is this a baby changing seat right next to it? Alright, we got this crazy ass shit going on. What about you, Kenita? What have you been working on lately? The creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Here's the sense is a good punch. This looks like the game area, like pool tables and stuff. <sighs> Let's see here. So yeah, um, on Martian's site, on martiangames.com, lately I've, what I've been learning how to do is um, to do the on-video hover. So like for his site, for all the games that are on there, um, I've actually been learning HTML and CSS last week as well. Um, when I wasn't fretting about my car that broke down, I was learning how to do this thing where, um, you know, it's like an image of a game, a preview, and then when you hover over it with your mouse, then it shows a little video preview. So I learned how to do that, and I'm not a webmaster or anything. I'm more like a web noob. <laughs> so I know how to make basic HTML stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's what I worked on this week. I was, like, trying to help Martian uh, fix up his site so that it's a little bit more fancy pants and not so old school. Um... So. Ooh, barracks or something. Ooh, some tutorials online? Sweet. Did you see how 2018 is officially released now? Just earlier in chat, we were talking about some cool ideas for a VR game with some, like, like an audio story. Like an audio-based story. Um... Because I have one of those like recorders, it's like a stereo recorder um, with like two earbud microphones, so like two mics and it could be a little bit more like a 3D sound, especially if it was like in VR. And so we were imagining like what kinds of things we could apply that to, like maybe a kind of like a story that's like either scary or horror. There's a lot of doors in here. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. Cat hair. Have you played Soma before, Kanito? There's these crazy things and sometimes this type of thing is interactive. Make sure you don't miss anything while we're exploring all these doors. What's this? Decoration? Okay. This is actually where we came in. Okay, this is where we came in. Cool. Yeah, we've been following the left. Oh, the cat is sitting right up against me, being so sweet. Okay. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the arc. Will do, Catherine. Opinion poll. Robin Bass. Are you excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. Be right back, okay, Casey. Why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then. I think it's really important we do this. Grail Bomb! Grail Bomb made it! Hi, friend! Welcome! We're doing pretty good, just exploring Soma. Um, we're just getting started, so hey, it's Mira! Mira's here! Mira! I'll bet since Mira loves Half-Life so much that you probably also appreciate Soma. Have you played this game, Mira? 
this is my first time playing it. It's got a lot of story uh, behind it. So anytime we see this kind of like cool audio file type thing, I'm playing all of them. So. Is this from inside the ark? Yes. So far, it's pretty cool. It's a whole lot comfier than this place. So something like um, they built this ark to like ship a bunch of people out. Um, somehow it's like underwater, but also space or something. I'm still putting the pieces together, but we're on a quest right now to, it's like a lot of people, um, basically their minds have been implanted into these robots. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, sweet. You're going to be playing Fortnite tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Cool grail bomb, like on stream or in general. Ugh. Sorry guys. Just that I got all this cat hair on my mouth. Okay, <laughs> that makes no, I mean, it looks like some kind of cool guide and everything, but, oops. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. I feel fake, no longer a real person. <laughs> I definitely do not feel normal. It's like red as if it's like not even an option. <laughs> I feel weird, dude, like an alien. Sweet. <laughs> Fortnite, Kappa. <laughs> Fortnite is one of my guilty pleasures and they have this new, um, this new thing. Where it's like 50 versus 50 squads or whatever. It's, it's kind of fun. I just haven't really streamed it very much. It's more fun like a couple rounds right before bed. Like not streaming it. Just chopping down trees and building. <laughs> and then sometimes playing with friends. How would you describe your mental condition? Definitely altered. We're always seeing an RGB split. And sometimes these characters will come at us and it feels like they get punch us in the face and then we see all in like rainbow. So I've been joking about how it's as if we're being punched in the face and dosed with acid. <laughs> okay, we would describe our senses as definitely more sensitive and aware. How's school coming along, Mira? What's the sensation of our new condition? Disconcerting. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer, no longer strictly human? I am. At least for our character, I think our character is concerned about it. The actual robots that we've come across that appear to have like human consciousness implanted in them, they actually seem pretty well balanced. I perceive my new existence as if it is like a new chapter in my life. Grinding Golden Terra lately. Cool. Because Terra just was uh, re-released or whatever. Um, what's different? Is it the new Terra that you've been playing? The one that just came out? I would like to play more of it. I played a little bit of Terra one time. A couple times with the uh, Martian games. It is so beautiful. Some of the most beautiful game art that I've ever seen. In fact, when people ask me, like, what's your favorite game art that you've ever seen at all? <laughs> it was definitely Terra. Oh, yeah, the 2012 version? Cool. I guess if I were to log back in there, I would still have the character that I made. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? As long as we have chat, we have all we need. Uh, maybe if we can find more meaning, some other meaning, I guess. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? I ha I'm i glad that there's a maybe to that one. Okay. Pfft. Interesting. I wonder if at the end they tell you like the um, percentage of people that voted on different things. Arc Trekker. Earth. 
happened to it? I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Cute! Mira says that they're level 20, wait, level 65 ninja because his character's a cute lolly and has fluffy ears and tail. <laughs> so probably everybody wants to help you out and stuff on your quests. <laughs> Let's scan Washington. Kitty is sitting right here. She has fluffy ears and tail. East Coast? Um, how about Toronto, which should be over here? This is where our character is from, is Toronto. What the hell? Fucking it. And, oh, and you can solo because your class is broken and deals a lot of damage. Sweet. Ah. South America? Africa? Africa! All right. <laughs> Japan, <laughs> Graham. <laughs> oh yeah, something. I'm getting closer. Oh, Kitty is stretching and being so cute. Omnicorn? Lambda. That's where we are, Lambda. Fucking A. There we are, getting somewhere. All right. You're helping a friend clean his setup? Sweet friend, his computer setup? Cool. Well, have a wonderful day or night, and so nice to see you, Mira. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Even when I'm not playing Half-Life, it means a lot to me. Jenny never called me cute. Are you a cat friend, or are you a cute lolly? <laughs> I've never seen you, friend, but I'm sure you have aspects that are cute about you. Everyone does. He's afraid of screwing something up with his PC? Well, that's smart. Smart to be scared. Tao. Graham's friends worked on Terra? Whoa. All right. Arc. So is that all? <laughs> like, what the hell? None of this other stuff does anything, are you? I like when she talks to us. I'll take us there. Okay. Move, jump, swim, Whee! Run. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there, and you'll show me what to do. That's really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on. Oh. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the dump app's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else it's, is there to do? It's not like she has to walk. Yeah, he, he already said this. He's like, I'll literally carry you. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. How would we forget about you, Catherine? With that sexy voice of yours. Don't forget to take me along. Where, where are you? Oh, the ominous hole. I wonder how many people worked on Terra. Probably over a hundred. All right, let's do this. Come pick me up. <laughs> okay. Can I 
pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Burr. Always remember to pull out, friends. Lesson of the day. Graham Weldon just noticed your chat. He's like, Martian's web chat is the most funny shit. <laughs> I was just saying that earlier today and like every day when I notice this chat, I'm just like, now look at what they're saying. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of his players are like 12 or whatever, so they probably just like learned what sex is. <laughs> they want sex and condoms. <laughs> At least they want condoms with that sex. I guess that's smart. Oh, um, and Corpus was saying, MMO company is it you heard numbers for? We're around 250. So cool. Well, in addition to pulling out, condoms are safe. Safe bet. If it was a, if it was me with a penis, I'd probably use condom and pull out. I'm not sure if that did what we wanted it to do, but. We just went where we wanted to. <laughs> like two condoms and pull out method, that would be the smart thing to do. Kitty is so cute. I love her so much. She's so cute right now, friends. That's so funny that you noticed Martian's chat. I was laughing about that today. It's almost four in the morning, friends. But that doesn't stop us. We're hardcore. Uh, what? <laughs> what is this? That's got to be annoying to maintain. Yeah, Martian didn't realize how much of uh, dealing with the. Yeah, not all twelve-year-olds. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There, should help you get around. Great. I'm scared. I love our beautiful Omni tool. Kitty's being so cute. She's being so sweet and fluffy. Me too, Graham. We're around the same age. Martian's already a little bit older than that. Whoa! Perfect is hosting with 13 viewers. Hey, hey! Thank you so much, Perfect. How are you doing? Thank you. Welcome. Hey, I appreciate that host. Nice. That host is like a raid. Oh my god, and at the same time, Kramer is hosting for up to 45 viewers. Kramer and Perfect at the same time. Yay! Thank you so much, friends! Hey, friends. Welcome. Hey, guys. We're playing Soma for the first time ever. <laughs> so tired. Okay, perfect. Thanks, friend. I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much. That's awesome. Yay, Kramer, my favorite Seattle online broadcaster. At least one of my top my top five favorite Seattle online broadcaster friends that I got to also meet in person. Who's very creative and awesome streamer. <laughs> First time playing Soma. How many times have you played it perfect? We just picked up Catherine. Hey there, Reels. Uh, thank you, friend. Thank you for that. 50 bits. Appreciate that. 50 bits me make you holla. <laughs> what were you playing on your stream today, Kramer? And perfect, were you also playing Soma? or? Alright, we just made it to Lambda. We picked up 
the we got the chip for Catherine in our Omni tool. Just enjoying this crazy ass awesome environment and stuff. Cool. Yeah, I really like it too. People have recommended it to me multiple times because of how much I love things like a Half Life and um, Alien Isolation. I'm not entirely sure where we're headed right now, but we did um, do like quite the adventure a minute ago. <laughs> oh, Nino Cooney too. Sweet. Oh, you're playing Far Cry Five. Sweet, perfect. Yeah, I really like watching uh, people playing Far Cry Five. I'll try to catch your stream in the future soon. And also Amnesia, okay. I own Amnesia, I got it last time it was on sale. So I will do, I'll take that advice. <laughs> Good night, perfect. Just enjoying all the scene enemies, AKA space buttholes. <laughs> At first, like, You'd like stick your finger in these things that look like sea enemies, and then later, like they would like suck up your entire fist. And I was like, <laughs> I don't even know how I feel about that, but it looks more than just a uh, sea anemone. Looks a little bit like a space butthole. <laughs> Thank you for that new follow, perfect. Oh no! Oh, here's this red thing again. If anyone has any tips without uh, story spoilers, then I'm open to that. Remember Kramer, friend? From uh, the meetup? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> this red dude keeps on punching us in the face. <laughs> you ain't seen a Jenny Nexus stream until you've seen some butt fisting. <laughs> oh my god. Ready or not, here I come. Bend over, bitch. <laughs> Guess what? Our car broke down last week, but um, our other friend named Soma Pills, he lives south of us, and he said that he would pick us up and bring us to the next meetup, which is, like, I think, on the 12th. Sometime soon. So amazingly, we'll even have a ride, even though our car broke down. Yeah, Soma Pills. Um, we got to play one time Fortnite with him, and it was like the first time that we ever won a match. Hey, Reels, thanks, friend. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> friends are friends. Oh, man. Now we're just going to be hiding from this thing. Running and. All right, friends. Anyone that's played this, you guys know what to do next? <laughs> I think we got to find another door to go through because last time. I was like, oh, we need to go um, to Lam Lamza or whatever. And we found this door. And then we went in there. We did what I believe is what we had to do. And then we were supposed to do something else. <laughs> Dirac, you're just a game making factory. All right, then we went into here. I mean, we went into here, then we came out. And then we were just like, okay, now what do we do? I'm open for, for some tips, but preferably just as long as they don't spoil any story. <laughs> Not a strength you have. <laughs> the alternator belt broke on your car on the way back from the last meetup. And then you replaced it the other day. At least that story has a happy ending. Ours is like $1,700 fix it. And we, it had literally broken down as we were driving it to go get the registration renewed. So now it doesn't have a registration and it's broken down. So I'm just like, God damn it. But it's good because now we're getting like all this extra exercise and I'm working on my summertime beach bod <laughs> thanks to that broken down car. I'm scared. All right. We're learning about this transportation system here. Hey friend, Graham said something to you. Martian's literally got his nose in code right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, beach bod. You know like when the summer comes around and you want to look good for if you're going to wear a uh, bathing suit or whatever and you...
All right, back on track. <laughs> yeah, we got to save up for that car repair, but it's so cool that Somo is so nice. He's like, I could just pick you guys up. I live just south of you. It's on the way. Because, like, last time we were there, we were talking about carpooling. There's a couple other people in our area, too. It was like, it'd be so fun to carpool. We can, like, take turns. We had fixed a couple things on my car recently, but they weren't nearly the damage of, like, 1,700 dudes, like, we just paid rent, so we're just glad to be, like, alive <laughs> and housed. But definitely don't have, like, a ton of savings for that type of... You know, I would rather take 1700 bucks and put it on a down payment for a new car, honestly. But we gotta... There's, it's just boring. Finances are boring. Where is that chick, man? She's all hollering at us. Where's our new girlfriend? Catherine, where are you? Where'd you go, robot girlfriend? I think maybe we got a sticker in the computer, actually. I was all looking for her when she was like the robot on the ground, but I'm pretty sure she's just a chip in our Omni tool now. Let's find that computer that we stick our Omni tool in. Yay! Yeah, Martian Games is always looking for people that actually want to collaborate on games and stuff. And um, especially because it helps when uh, he's sometimes like... Um, uh, has to deal with uh, like trolls and boring stuff in his games. Then getting to um, collaborate with people that are like mature adults that also do development. It's like a bonus. <sighs> I'm so confused. Not too confused, just a little bit confused. That was so nice of you, Kramer, and um, a perfect friend. You guys are awesome for that host. And oh, and Kramer's also been working on your beach bod. But hummus is so good. I started doing like low carbohydrate thing about a week ago and also going to the gym every day. Cause even though we don't have so much a car, we have the, um, the gym at our apartment complex just opened up. And so I've been going every day. It's really nice in there. And uh, even if I don't wear a bikini all summer <laughs> or anything like that, uh, it's just nice to feel healthy. Because, like, um, this was our first winter in Washington, and it was so cold and freezing and dark, and I just, like, I feel like I feel out of shape a little bit. So I feel I feel a lot more healthy this last week. Where do we stick it in? Our computer. Hold on, friends. We'll find our way soon enough. Gross sound effects. Abyssal zombie, hi friend. <laughs> like a cat radar. <laughs> well, I love my kitty cat, I'm a crazy cat lady, but I only have one cat, so gotta draw the line somewhere. <laughs> if you went to Par Par Paradiso, you would die. <laughs> cat radar. I don't know where kitty went. Earlier she was sitting right here next to me. Catherine, where are you? Ooh, Soviet Russia. Nice. All right, this is where we stick it. I thought. No, plug in Omni tool. Oh no, where's the Omni tool? Ah, do we forget to bring the Omni tool with us? It's all good, friends. We are. Oh, here we are. This this is the girl that was talking to us. What else? Something else right there? Put the sort of square <laughs> thing you're holding into the matching hole over there. Oh no! Where's my Omni tool? Did I leave it in the freaking... Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Guys, I think that I left it, um... I, I think I left it in that little area that we were in. This thing over here. <laughs> Wait, why do I suddenly have this thing now? Huh. 
Huh. Well, we do have it in our hand. Catherine, it won't let me stick it in. Hmm, at one point we did this earlier. Maybe I'm supposed to be doing something else right now. You're on holiday, Graham. You're drinking and a little silly. <laughs> Normally more PG. It's all good. Cheers, Graham and friends. Still have cat hair everywhere I go. Never played this game. He thought it was kind of weird with some of that stuff. Yeah, like the sea enemies that look like space bottles. You got to stick your finger in and then later you're like fisting them. All right. I don't know, man. Uh, I wish that there was like an objective um, reminder type of thing. Like what are we supposed to do next type of thing? A new donation from D Rock! Meow! It's D Rock! It's D Rock! D Rock making my night! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Change the title to Soma Fisting. Thank you so much, D Rock! You're so awesome, friend! Way to keep me pumped up about, like, streaming and spending so much time streaming. <laughs> I mean, I'm pumped up to do it anyway, but guys, I don't know what to do next right now. This happens every so often so far in this game. Ay, there's all these things that we can do, but I'm not sure the things that we we're supposed to do. Because, like... Alright, now you get a green badge! Plus you're the number one donator, so you get that little um, gold badge too. All right, friends. Hopefully we just did the right thing. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, friend. That It all really does add up, even when it's just a few bits, you know? Um, 600 is like 600 million to me. But even like earlier, someone tipped like 50 bits, and that's a lot too to me, so thanks. Because we can't even get out of bed without, like, chugging a shit ton of coffee. And that goes towards coffee, which basically keeps us alive. So thanks to you, we can live longer and uh, hopefully prosper. <laughs> hey there, Sean Doherty. How are you doing? Welcome. All right, friends. This little red dude over here, he likes to come bully us. And he's, like, a, the ultimate troll. You bought a big fat coffee, friend. In fact, the coffee that we got for in the house is like an entire thing of like, I could make French press coffee with 600 bits for like all, like three weeks or something with the kind that we buy for like, I think we spent five bucks on it and that'll hold us over for about three whole weeks. Or like a double shot red eye at Starbucks. <laughs> Either way, friend, that's very generous of you. If anyone in here likes animation, D Rock's an animator and he streams too. So I recommend his stream. Oh, thank you, Casey. I wish I had more bits. I'm a poor little guy from Europe. <laughs> That's okay, friend. I appreciate that. Yay. All right, friends. Help! All right, hopefully we can get through those. The scary asshole, he's gonna come running after us. What are we missing? Usually after enough wandering around and asking myself that, um, then it's like right after that I'll figure it out. When you're just, too, just a bit too fat to get over this thing. Ugh. That's just a window. Hey, 
Can, oh, did I find a square hole? <laughs> That's what she said. You mean the Catherine chick said to find a square hole? Like this square hole? That's, that's where we keep on going. Yeah, we gotta find... But that was earlier. She was talking about sticking our um, Omni tool in that little square hole. This thing will always get us. I heard that there's no way to really like fight and defend for yourself. So like, I don't think that even if we run towards this thing that we can really defend ourselves. Oh wait, that's a fucking, Never mind. Ish. I thought that, that was that little red guy that keeps coming after us, but that's a door. I'm just blind. All right, let's try this again. Damn, I wish that we did run, run in this thing before. Hey there, Honest Dan. Hi, Ren. How are you doing, friend? I forgot if you did Loom Dare this time. And um, how, how did how did everything go? I think I saw that you were playing some Loom Dare games recently. How have you been, friend? Have you played Soma before? This is my first time. Yay. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Got a little, little this, little that. <laughs> Life. Life is like uh, stroking us and punching us at the same time. <laughs> kind of like in this game. Oh yeah, you did do one. Wasn't crazy exciting, but pleased with your game. Sweet. I was considering playing some submissions, even though we didn't do it this time. We didn't participate, but I played Graham Weldon's game yesterday on stream, and that was really fun. Wait, what? Hand? Hold on. Oh, pff. that's all. <laughs> Man, I'm not sure what to do next in this game. It's like, at one point, do you, like, give up and look up a cheat sheet type of thing? Um, if you ever see me streaming Ludum Dare on a stand, um, I would love to play your game while streaming. What's the, what was the theme that you went with? I know it was something like odd stuff that doesn't really go together was the theme of Ludum Dare, but like, what's a vague, uh, oh no, this is the thing that will come after us. Ooh, yeah, Tetris meets Breakout. No way, dude. It turned out way better than you hoped. Well, oh yeah, two incompatible genres. Those are like my two favorite games from childhood. Um, although Breakout I played on um, on on Atari. The, um, what was I gonna say? Is that Arkanoid was the one that I loved so much. You fast forward wrong point on yesterday? <laughs> Abyssal. I don't know what happened, but there's just some funny looking references in here. Can we take a minute and appreciate the good looking streamer? Thank you for those best kisses. You're so sweet, friend. Thank you for those compliments. Okay, me. Okay, friend. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for that big host, friend. That made my night. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time. Love your streams too, friends. So much fun. And, uh, my best to your lady friend as well. Damn, guys. Lambda or bust, I guess. Ah. <sighs> I feel like Lambda is really the only way about life right now, but like we went through that whole place. We picked up that robotic chick out of her, um, we put her chip in our Omni thing and whatnot. Kramer's a really fun streamer, you guys, so if you don't already follow him, I definitely recommend his stream.
I hate to be a pussy, but I am considering looking at like a little walkthrough to see what I'm missing here. Unless anyone in chat has a little tip. It's pretty damned relaxing and awesome, like even just wandering around aimlessly, but it's also becoming kind of depressing. <laughs> You know how like when you're playing a game for the first time, everything is like complicated and hard. And then by the time you get to the end, you understand it a lot better. Thank you, Casey. Thanks, friend. Those cents, they really do add up because eventually Twitch sends me a paycheck and that really helps, you know, so thank you. Martian Games email went directly to spam. Why? I was reading something about SEO with uh, Google and there's even like ways so that your Gmail doesn't go to somebody's spam box. Like, ta like meta tags but for your email that I learned about. Oh, you guys. Bloodborne? I've never played that before, but we do have PS4. Shooter is hosting me. Thanks, friend. Hey, Shooter. Oh, God. Thank God Shooter's here. Hopefully, Shooter can help me with this. Um, <laughs> Where am I supposed to go next, friend? Shooter's a badass streamer, and I recommend him. He also plays indie games on his stream sometimes. Hint, hint, Graham. <laughs> I played Graham's uh, Ludum Dare Game Jam submission yesterday on stream. Coding! Sweet friend! Oh yeah, I was w wanting to give you some props on doing the coding streams lately. I think we're somewhat on an opposite schedule lately though, so I haven't been in your stream very much lately. It's so nice to see you, Shooter. Kilo, hi friend! Guys. Oh, you're trying to finish something before class. That sucks when there's like only so much time. Alright, I'm going back to Lambda. I'm looking around there again because I don't know. <laughs> Yay! Martian's doing great. Did you know that we um, finally released that VR game in March? Purgatory Fell is finally out. Even if you don't have a VR headset shooter, um, it would be cool if you um, feel like checking out that Steam page and you can see the trailer that I got to edit. And I got to do a little bit of voice acting in the VR game and Martian did the whole damn thing in like six months. I only just helped with a little bit of the 3D art and stuff and voice acting. And I set up, I got to set up the Steam page do the trailer and then we did I did like a little uh, gameplay uh, compilation video and stuff oh it's a it's a VR horror game that Martian games was um, uh, someone paid him to make a scary game commissioned he was commissioned to do a scary VR game called purgatory fell so I didn't do any of the programming for it Martian did all of it and it's his first VR game and in his first game that's published on Steam. I'll be honest, though, right now, if anyone has any idea, uh, I mean, we went to Lambda, and I don't know what to do next, so. Oh, sorry. Martian's like, I'm not just a company. My name is Shade. <laughs> in chat, people are like, they're like, what's his name? I'll be like, um, I'll try to, I, I don't even know. I can't even remember my own partner's name. Since I've known him in the last seven years, he's changed his name like three times on me. <laughs> so once every couple years, I mean, I should be able to figure that out, but. 
It's not that I don't like change, I'm just not very good, I guess, at changing my memory. We are in Tacoma. You mean in the game? We are looking for, for Lambda again because we, um, we picked up that chick, her name is Catherine, in our Omni tool, in a chip, <laughs> and stuff. Um, we're near Lambda. And we, we kind of, we're going, we're going back for Lambda because I searched everywhere out here and I couldn't find anything else. So I'm going to go back to where I was before and keep looking there again. Lambda over here. This thing, it'll like, let me go through here and stuff, but then, and then the chick will be like, stick it in, stick it, the Omni tool. And then uh, we weren't able to, so I was like, oh, I thought I had already done that before. And so I was like, okay, we'll search out this other area again. So we're going back inside Lambda. We're going to see you. What did we miss? Linear, no way to get lost. That's what everyone says, but I think I'm kind of like... Playing games, it kind of points out my, probably like my mental... Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't know that it's real disability, but it's like my mental, um, the way my brain is made up, it's like, maybe not, I don't have the same type of, I mean, we already looked through this entire thing earlier, so we did the whole damn survey. That was fun. Environments. That chick was like talking to us. We did all of this. We did all this like zooming into these cool maps and we found this area that we wanted to go to. And the girl was like talking to us for a while but then at some point she just stopped and then she was like, stick your Omni tool into this such and such. All right, I'll show you where we where she is, is over here. And she's like, stick it in, but then we weren't able to, watch. This is where we left off. This hole right here. And we have it in our hand. We just can't stick it in there. Bug. Hey, Kilo. It sure is my first time playing through. Do you think, Kilo, or anyone, that I may have to reload it? Because she tells me to do that, and um, I'm not able to. Do you think it's a bug, or do you think I just missed something? More game volume, sure. <laughs> and you may have a picture of my cat. All right, let me know if this is too much. She said, put the square thing in the square hole, meaning the Omni tool in this, in this slot right here. And it even says plug in the Omni tool to operate. We did this earlier and then she gave us a chip. She ejected a chip, which we put into our Omni tool and stuff. Just plug the Omni tool into the computer. Oh, wait, in a different computer maybe? Is there anywhere else that we can stick it in? Pretty sure that's the only place to stick it in over there. <laughs> there should be a butt that you can fist somewhere. <laughs> If we've learned anything about this game, there's these things that look like sea anemones slash space bubbles, and that sometimes you have to finger them, and then other times you, your whole entire fist goes inside of them, and it's totally weird. Sometimes there's like a button or something else that's like a little bit. Even though you can't see the Omni tool in my hand, like when I go over here, like when I go back into here, you'll see that the Omni tool is in our possession. It's not like accidentally left in a computer anywhere. Look. See, it's still here in my hand. But we don't want to go out, man. We already went out earlier. <laughs> F is for a fucking flashlight.
It's linear and there's no way to get lost, they say. Alright, well, we've already done all those rooms on the left. Let's just look over here and just see if there's another butthole or something to stick our finger in. Yeah. At least the cat is- oh wait, is this a butthole? It was reassuring someone yesterday in chat quoted they were like are you really playing a game if you don't ever wander around aimlessly for a while that was reassuring i was like story of my life we already did this one earlier that butthole what am i missing dudes you would watch a walkthrough Should I restart this level or something? I mean, we could watch a walkthrough, but then you guys are just gonna be looking at like a cat desktop and stuff. <laughs> a walkthrough of Soma or fisting? <laughs> Casey is the walkthrough. <laughs> I feel like this is supposed to do something. It says it's online. What? Was you can pick up everything and do that. What about this PC? Go to the building and then turn right and follow the lights. Okay, Casey, are you serious? Have I checked behind the broken PC on the ground? But behind it? Let's see, broken PC on the ground. This thing? I mean the robot chick or is there another broken PC on the ground? Cute, the cat is being adorable. Hi, kitty kin. Ow, 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 ow! I need to give her a manicure pedicure because her nails are sharp. Over here? Hey, new follow, thank you! Hey! <laughs> That's my consolation prize of all this um, searching around aimlessly for the new follow, thanks! Honest Dan. Thanks, friend, for stopping by. I'll see you again soon, friend. It's always nice to see you, Dan. Dan's an awesome game developer, you guys. And he did Ludum Dare. Both him and Graham did Ludum Dare. There's a broken PC on the ground over here. I'm personally, like, a big fan of game dev streams because I feel like I'm always learning something I can turn the light on zombie pirate hi friend nice to see ya behind this thing on the ground sometimes there's like a button that I don't realize is interactive Oh, maybe like out the door into the right behind this broken computer over here? Over here? What is this? This looks like a door. I wish I could open that. Wouldn't that be the day? Oh, 
over here? I mean, there's these computers, but this was just like we were trying to find a map earlier. So strange. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, is there any way to fix this stuff? That's where we came from. These lights over here. This is where we found our little friend earlier. We searched through all this stuff before. I hate giving up and looking at a walkthrough when what I really want to do is figure it, figure it out on my own, but I mean, there's even different music here. You would think that it's something waiting right around the corner. I thought that I've been to all these areas though. I did. I mean, I mean, out of the room at least. Uh, oh no! Oh no, Casey, not that I don't trust you. I thought you meant out of the that room that we were in. Okay, let's try to find the exit again. I mean like back into the water area? out this way. So depressing, man. I, I seriously, this, I've done this twice now. the scary red thing. I mean, there's this pod that we went in and maybe these lights all the way to the right. And I'm following your direction, Casey. Thank you very much for the tip. I'm sorry, when you said building, I thought you meant that room that I was in. And then someone else mentioned, look behind the broken computer. So I was like, looking through the broken computer and stuff too. These lights... I walked over here before I tried to interact with those at one point. At least we can cry on each other's shoulder. Cause when I get lost for too long, then I start to cry. Thank God for Casey. Look at something's happening. I'm <laughs> so scared. Whew. Thank goodness. All right, something new. Making progress. It's 4:30 in the morning for me, friends. I know we got started late. Um, sometimes we really are up really late at night and stuff. Like lately, we've been pushing it forward and stuff, but. There's always like a point at which my natural, <laughs> my natural uh, game logic, it's, it slows down even more once it starts to get really late like this. Awesome, look at this awesome environment. Hopefully playing this then when I play Amnesia, it'll be a little bit more obvious, like the game design and direction, what to do and stuff. Oh, left or right? 
That's a dead end. Let's go right. Poor Casey's like, I have to take a shower anyway. I think he like took off before he realized that thanks to him <laughs> and his tip, I'm finally able to move forward in my life. Classic. I've been over here though, I think. Or not, I don't know. That that platform or that um that thing that looks like you would hide behind it. Hey look it! That was creepy. Yeah, if this was in VR I would definitely be scared. Even more scared. Graham! I do have uh, several lights illuminating my face. I have one umbrella lamp, one lamp up here, a uh, ceiling lamp, and then the kitchen light, and then the living room light. I would like to get one or two umbrella lamps, though, because I used to have a set, and now I just have one, so... Why, friend? Do you think that my face looks okay? The lighting? <laughs> That's good to add to the heat. It's my, my Guatemalan is my, my natural heat. <laughs> Alright friends. We're moving forward thanks to Casey who took off before realizing that he's he's helping me with this. New music. We must be going the right way. I'm sure you just my flashlight underwater. I'm sure it's dark. Dark and spooky. There's a spooky ghost. That's for shade to do. Oh, comment my face. <laughs> I just mean the lighting. Oh, my flashlight is on, actually. It's just the depth of being underwater is like, doesn't shine very far ahead. Well, I'm determined to play all the way through this, um, probably by the weekend, I'm guessing. We'll do probably a couple more sessions of this before we get anywhere near the end. <laughs> and then... Uh... Yeah, you called him Shade. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. I'm definitely scared. You're now a person, not just a company. <laughs> I feel like I should climb up there somehow. Person called Shade. <laughs> you graduate to person when your name is your Twitch name. <laughs> but what about when your website is the same as your Twitch name? Then do you become a website? I'm hoping to find a ladder like this. <laughs> Name and website. That's when you know you're a true pro.
<laughs> Don't visit it, why not? It's linear and I won't get lost. So creepy with the sound effects. Gross. Have a wonderful evening, D Rock. Thanks again for that tip earlier, and thanks for being awesome and laughing at my butthole jokes. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, D Rock. Tomorrow I'll be streaming that VR game, the Beat um, something or other game. <laughs> And then also some Commander Keen for Throwback Thursday. Oh, here we go. Something. Something, not nothing. Ladder, ladder. I feel like playing through these types of games really helping me with like my not, not feeling so dumb in life. And like getting a far better feel for like what to expect from like game design but I also think that there's like at a certain point like you don't want your game to be too predictable but I mean there's certain things that probably most gamers would probably anticipate or like expect what's that oh extra is hosting me for three viewers thanks friend speaking of game devs extra is freaking awesome game developer He's working on a sweet ass, like, dark, glitchy type of game. He's always got awesome music playing whenever he's streaming. Now what? I can swear. Oh, look! How do I get to that thing up there? Fuck! Can I reach that thing? Damn, stuck. How do I get up over there? This music is so awesome. There's a way to get up there, how? Some of these stairs are literally sideways. Oh, there. Scary. This is so creepy. What in the world? Ah. <sighs> This music is so cool. Crazy sound design. Damn it. I ha oh, pff. All right, let's try this. Well, this is the way we got up there, but like, I feel like there's there's another direction of some sort. Some other direction. I guess once we get all the way up here, we gotta jump off that top ledge of this one. 
This is the way to go. Sweetie pie. Come here. Come here. Oh, she was sitting down on her little princess pedestal. Meow. I feel like what I really want to do is like get this one of these um there's these valves. <laughs> these like uh turning knobby things. Oh, there, there. Fuck. No. <laughs> I was like, for sure that's the way. Let's try that again. Is that seriously no way? Right there? Oh, I feel like for sure I could go over there. Over here? Weird. Okay. Alright. This is correct, I think. This environment is so cool. I don't mind being lost, especially when it's this type of like 3D like platform puzzler <laughs> type of thing. This is like some of my favorite type of stuff. This is actually just where we came in. Is there anything else right outside of here? We need a different direction with, from within there? Kitty, come here, girl. I'm gonna look around the... There's like this middle portion here. And I'm gonna try to see what is around this area. Actually, the only entryway to this situation on the inside. Kitty girl. All right, friends. I'm gonna take a really quick break <laughs> and like uh, say hi to the cat because she's like meowing up a storm. I'll be right back, friends.
Hey friends. Okay, well, we were kind of um, at this cool segment here, and um, I'm not really sure where to go just yet, but it's already five in the morning, so we're probably gonna sign off in just a little bit here. I had a little snack. He's getting tired and he's still trying to fix something else. You sure you want me to help you, friend, with that thing? In Chrome? I think I might have to, um... Oh, thanks, Graham. Yeah, I would. I want to hang out more, but it's 35 in the morning, dudes. <laughs> I think, um, after taking that little break, I realized that I probably be in my, our best interest to just host someone and then I can try to help Martian problem solve those things happening and um, then tomorrow we'll come back and stuff plus the cat's pissed off that I've been ignoring her this whole time I started playing with the kitty <laughs> well thank you Graham for hanging out we can like look for someone to host oh cool you're writing a huge email for shade link sweet well, um, we're always, like, ready for fun times. Um, cool, let me just pull up this thing. I'll, I'll find somebody to host, and then we'll pick up where we left off soon. Thank you, John. Thanks for hanging out, friend. John was, like, the first person here, and now he's, like,